Hi guys, it's me Andrea. Today I will show you a page I made for the challenge for the Studio ABC Facebook group. It's about artists' birthday challenge and this month in August it's um, Andy Warhol. So what I thought is I will pick up this, um, yeah, what they did a lot with this everyday objects and repeating them on their art piece and stuff like that and we just got our finally after three months our last furniture we ordered and um, chairs and a table dining table so I used this leaflet and the chairs and but at the end I'm really hurrying through this because I hate it I made a second piece so you saw me using this mask in um, this um, post-it notes as a stripe, as a tape actually. That was the thing what came out of this, what I really loved, <laughs> the masking stuff. So I will really hurry through as you can see that and I uh, won't tell you a lot about this because I really don't like it. But to be fair, I will show it. It's one of my failures, you know, everyone does it. So, but I'm showing it to you to tell you or to sh to show you that no one's perfect so um that's a finished piece but and then i had this stripes of tapes left and i loved them and i thought oh they are so beautiful a bit of this um actual pink was still left and and with the yellow and the red dots it, i really liked it and then i thought oh come on go and use this and make something from it so I glued it down, used all the pieces up and um, I cut that off. And now I have this, this piece of paper and I used this chalk to put down a figure. And um, I didn't want to, well, I couldn't really sketch on it with a pencil. I wouldn't have been able to uh, erase the pencil lines and stuff like that. So that's what I used chalk I have this little trick from Gerda Lipsky so I put down this black acrylic lines and I wanted to use as typical for this pop art artists as Andy Warhol war, was as well this really into your face colors and, and very clean you know most of this art were prints so Painting it down is, is it's quite difficult. I won't get it painted down that precise and that clean. I give my best so this colour. I don't like this turquoise. I thought it was far too dark and that's why I will change it later. You will see that. So this is dilution paint. I will change all that paint later because I want to have this colours how should I say that, more pale, not pale, more blunt, something like that, can I say that? So they were far too non-pop arty like, I don't know. So I put some white gesso here on that and um, after that dried, I used my Posca pens. I, just, I thought, oh, you have this blunt blue or this light blue, use it with Poscas. And then I uh, discovered I had this violet Posca and even the green one so I went over it and best thing is I got rid of this strokes brush strokes it is much smoother and um, that's why I use that on all of these areas and um, quite like that so I could live much more with that it's not it's so much not me you know but yeah I wanted to challenge myself actually when I, this uh, challenge came up when Linda Ann put this challenge up I thought oh gosh no that's nothing I like but then I grew to it and yeah look this figure I, I, I drew down that's something I've done in the past I came up with this figure when I was a kid actually I, I can't find the kids my my children drawings so I should show you this old um old art journal I made so art journal page and uh, I wanted to have a look how did I do the eyes in the past and it wasn't round so it was as well pointy so that's what I do here 
and going on with the white Posca and I stick to the Poscas here now it is more precise for the lines and everything cleaner to work with than with brushes of course you could work cleaner with the brushes but um, it would take for me too much time <laughs> okay so um finishing the eyes here and I think that's it for the drawing. Now I thought comic, it's pop art, come on, it's comic-like things as well. I thought it needs a speech bubble, so I cut out some white um, cardboard, um, frame it here in black and then well, didn't know what to do. I thought bold, bold me is, is, is a great word for that, isn't it? So, and um, yeah, that's the last bit. I um, used my Posca here to paint it in and then I glued down. And that's it. A bit of etching, I think. I etch with black here. Very precise again. Not really me. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to have this, this printing look as much as possible. So that's... These two pieces, as I said, the first one with the chairs, no, not mine, but to be fair, I show it. But this one, I, I, I'm quite happy about this one. So that's it. I will put all the information down into the description box that you can have a look at the Facebook group, Studio ABC, absolutely fantastic one. And maybe you join us. So have a nice time and thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye-bye.